smell that Balzac? That is the aroma of higher education. The aroma of young minds absorbing knowledge. The, the aroma of... Oh, yes. The aroma of that, too. Let us make haste, my friend, to the fraternal house where my family name became legend. Come on. We cheat and we lie and we fight, we don't cry when we try. May driving on the wrong side of the road lead you down the right path. Write that down, Van. Taj Mahal, uh, b b Badalandabad. Balzac? Oh shit! Balzac! That's no way to make a first impression. Lick it up. Welcome to the house of fox and hounds. Good afternoon. Pip Everett, Earl of Grey. How do you do? I do very well, thank you. Splendid. How may we help you? My name is Taj Mahal Baralandabad, your newest and proudest member. Fantastic. This is incredible. The oldest and finest fraternal guild in all of England. You know, I've been dreaming of this day since I was Champagne? a boy. Oh, thank you. Since my father, the Leap, who was known by his fellow hounds as the Voom Broom Baralandabad, <laughs> <laughs> would tell me stories about his time here during the swinging 60s. Enjoyable shagging all of you groom chicks, but the further spreading of my baby gravy will help to end. Good show, good show, and we are equally excited to have you as one of our members. Welcome, ladies. Perhaps you could show Sir Woon Broom the second to his new room. Our, our pleasure. pleasure. Very awkward. Thank you. There seems to be a terrible mistake. But typographical, you see. This letter's supposed to say that you've not been accepted. What? I'm very sorry. <coughs> but, but, but please do pop in any time and say hello. Oh, no, but, but my father went here. I'm a legacy. But where else would you expect me to go? Well, I do see your quandary, old boy. I do know of one opportunity, but it's only eligible for the dog. A barn? One of the oldest buildings on campus. Is it red? No. Then it's not a barn. Yes, but it's steeped in history. Good luck, then. Oh, you too. Do you see his face? The bar. <laughs> I do believe that was the best one yet. <laughs> you were wonderful. Oh, that was a classic pip. Brilliant. Don't you boys ever get tired of playing that same class demeaning joke? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Another jolly good show. I must say, it is so much fun being me. <laughs> is that. Could someone please get me some tidy wipes? Get up, get on. For the barn residence hall, the barn. Piss off, pin-headed, squarey-looking bastard. Sorry for the intrusion, you hairy arse, dipso paddy headbanger. Spanish by the land about. That's quite the tongue twister. It's not that hard to say. You got it right. <laughs> yeah, but I've been drinking all day. Huh? You want some? No, I'm okay actually. You enjoy your backwash. Hi, hi. You look funny. I'm Gethin. Hi, Gethin. I'm Taj, your new uh, resident advisor. Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. The house is such a mess. I feel so ashamed. Oh, 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 oh. please stop. Don't call me sir and don't be formal. This is a very informal sir. Now, what's all this? Oh, uh, I'm a dual major. Uh, maths slash quantum physics. Ah, following the tradition of the great Stephen Hawking, huh? Uh, not exactly. 
Um, numbers geeks don't have the hottest social life, so I did a sexual statistics compatibility survey with all the colleges in England. Camford came up with the highest nerd per willing chick probability ratio. The pursuit of the pink dog. Sunny side up on the way to the butt. To say again. Hello, what's your name? Hello? Oh, Simon doesn't like to talk. Simon? It's a pleasure to meet you regardless, and I look forward to hearing from you when you have something that you would like to say. How about you, balls? I meet everybody. Hey, what's up with the mutt? Looks like he's dragging a pair of soccer balls. He's a purebred English bulldog. <laughs> it's English, is it? That's why it's such an ugly a bastard. Hey, he can hear you. I don't care. Why do you have all that pent-up aggression? I'm Irish, and the English have been giving us the shaft for over 500 years and counting. Well, time out for a second. I'm Indian. And England invaded India in the 1700s and didn't leave until less than 60 years ago. Until then, we were just another one of its colonies.